making anonymous reports. I think that there should be something in place to block people from making anonymous reports because like, look, let's say that I'm stalking you and I just hate you and I'm trying to ruin your life and you own a company and I own a company. What if I just wanted to use the report feature as a tool to get you removed? That's why this needs to come into light, not just because of me getting my account disabled, but competitors, companies, brands, whatever, can use the report feature to get you disabled for no reason. As long as you're just filing enough reports, they can get disabled. Hi, you guys. So, I got disabled on Instagram again. A 200 and something, almost 10,000 followers, 210K. And um, it's the second time I've gotten disabled in the past like 30 days. And I'd never gotten disabled before this. So I'm gonna make a vlog. It's gonna be vlog style, obviously. And I'm just gonna try this style out. And I got a ring light for my phone and I love it. I'm like glowing. So <laughs> if you got disabled on Instagram and you wanna get your account back, hopefully this video is gonna help you manifest getting your account back and my account as well, because I currently don't have my account. My Instagram was Emmy Corinne. I'm gonna put it in the description. And I'm gonna put my new Instagram, which is Emmy Corinne Official, in the description as well. And you can go follow both because Hopefully that one will be up soon, my, new, my old one. I made a new Instagram and I already got it to 30,000 followers by doing shout outs. And I can make a video on that if you want, but the like basis is that I just DM either my friends or people that have like a shit ton of followers, like over a million, like Instagram thoughts. Love you, I'm also an Instagram thought. Um, and I just DM them, I'm like, yo, can I like Venmo you for a story shout out for 24 hours? And they do it and like I've been going up. Um, I actually hit like 50,000 followers and Instagram was removing followers. So I actually made or hit 50K in like the first week. It was 47, so it's close enough. Well, keep watching if you want to see how to get your account back and my vlog of me getting my account back. Yeah. Shut bra just for you. <clears throat> my Instagram got removed at 210,000 followers. I know people watching this are gonna be like, it's just Instagram, like, eh. So I'm actually like an influencer. So if you're gonna yell at me, go ahead. I don't blame you. I hated influencers before I was one. I was jealous, I wanted to live like that. And I felt like I was a model and I get paid to literally do that anyways. So I was kind of annoyed. And then I just was like, why don't I just do it instead of like complaining? And so that's what I did. So I grew my following until I got shadow banned. I was going up like 50K maybe like 30,000 every month because I grew like 200,000 in the year. So I don't know what the math was. And I would have kept going, but like I said, I got shadow banned and they wouldn't promote me on Explore. No one could ever find my stuff. It was like hard to find my page. And there's all these like fake accounts to me that come up first. So I was definitely shadow banned. Um, then last week uh, on the Super Bowl, I go to go post on my story obnoxiously and my Instagram was taken down. It was disabled. I got the error message. And I've been disabled once before, and it was not even a month ago. And it was a mistake, and they emailed me back that day, and they're like, oh, sorry, we know you didn't post anything bad. And then they reactivated my account like 12 hours later. And I can put a screen share of the message that I got when I got it re-enabled or reactivated the first time. Because I'm trying to, like, see that message and manifest it coming up again, honestly. Like, I'm grasping at straws here. Like, I don't know how else to mentally make it come into fruition, but that's what I'm trying to do because I did it before. So, the thing that got me deleted was people that don't like me reporting my stuff and, like, harassing me, obsessing over me. And I actually kind of think, I believe everything happens for a reason. And I actually kind of think it's good that it happened because I'm not verified on Instagram and I should be. Like I meet the requirements and I think that it's just kind of like fueling the drive for me to get verified because I didn't care before. I didn't care about the blue check mark. And I think this is something like I kind of should care about it because I feel like if you reach a certain point, you need to have security on your account. Like if you have a lot of trolls or just like a lot of people know who you are, I feel like you should have it. And I'm sure you probably like don't know who I am. And you're like, yeah, get over yourself. And I like, I don't think I'm like anything, but I do have a lot of followers and like it obviously is gonna open the door for like more like crazy people. So I just kept getting reported and I wouldn't do anything wrong. So I was just like, why are other people posting like crazy stuff and I'm getting reported for like posting in like a crop top, like the heck? Like what? what is this breaking? So I was getting really mad and I had to just 
like look at Instagram whenever it would I get disabled I would get too mad and I ended up blocking actually a lot of my friends like, a lot of girls that I was close with I kind of blocked because there were some girls that are capable of doing that reporting me and even if I went to them and was like yo did you report me like they're not going to be honest like I just know they weren't like my best friends but they were girls that I was like close with and like one of them like her boyfriend like was like kind of a creep and I feel like she definitely was part of it so I ended up blocking her on all the accounts I knew she had but she's like a psycho so I'm sure she has like burner accounts like I don't I'm so straightforward like I don't have time to go look at someone else's account on another account that's bizarre if I want to look at your story I have no problem just doing it like I'm not trying to hide so I know that there's girls that make burner accounts and are like creeping and reporting that I don't know about and that I have no idea how to flag. Um, so that's why I need to get verified. So if you're verified, you're protected from getting anonymously or from getting disabled for no reason. So this is what I've heard and I heard it from multiple people. If you're not verified and you're getting reported, you'll get disabled and that will be that and you can, ha you can try to get it back. However, if you're verified and you get reported, you're just gonna get an error message, they're gonna remove the post and that's it. Like an, an actual person is manually doing it, not a bot. If you're not verified, a bot is the one that's gonna decide if you go back. I don't know what algorithms they use to determine the words that you say or like, I don't know. And Instagram's never gonna tell us because then we can game the system and know how to get our accounts back. Like, Honestly, like if you got your account disabled, I think you can get it back. That's the what the advice I've been told is that if it's deleted, I think it's gone unless you know someone on Instagram and they can somehow bring your account back. But if it's disabled, you can get it back. So just keep appealing it. My friends, um, well, she's not my friend. I just like follow her and she follows me. But Julianne, she's super hot. Go follow her. She has like 4 million followers. She got deleted or disabled at four million followers and then she lost her account for like I think half a year and then got her account back so six months and then I've seen people have gotten theirs disabled like my friend had her just or my, my actual friend had hers disabled for like three months I'm not gonna let it go that long I'm just gonna keep annoying them till I get it back and that's what you should do is just make noise but don't be spammy because then they're gonna block it so you know I left them a voicemail I'm gonna tell you all the things I did so far and I'm gonna sound like a psycho, but I'm actually just really determined, but I'm actually a psycho. So you can you can just pick which one, but I'm not gonna be offended. So when I first got my account disabled seven days ago, I flipped out. Step one, I cried. I did cry. And I make fun of people that cry over Instagram and I cried, to be completely honest. Honestly, because I'll tell you why. Because it's like a tool for me for acting. like. I didn't do Broadway and I go to auditions and like having a following helps because it's like free marketing for whatever show or thing I'm auditioning for because I'm bringing an audience and like people do cast for your following now like it's a thing um, and I've met casting directors and agents and like a lot of connections through my Instagram so I was more mad because I felt like someone was telling me I can't do what I really just love to do and that's acting and like entertainment. Felt like I've never heard no before really. I haven't faced a lot of rejection um, in acting. Like I feel like everyone has really accepted me. For someone like Instagram to like interfere with like acting in my dream, it pissed me off because I'm determined and like I don't party, I don't date. Like the only thing I really care about is like my career and my passion and that's, that's it. That's like what gets me up. I get tunnel vision when I wanna do something and so the whole Instagram getting disabled, it was just like totally taking like a punch to like the jugular. And it didn't seem fair to get disabled for people not liking me or jealous or just crazy haters making anonymous reports. I think that there should be something in place to block people from making anonymous reports because like, look, let's say that I'm stalking you and I just hate you and I'm trying to ruin your life and you own a company and I own a company. What if I just wanted to use the report feature as a tool to get you removed? That's why this needs to come into light, not just because of me getting my account disabled, but competitors, companies, brands, whatever, can use the report feature to get you disabled for no reason. As long as you're just filing enough reports, they can get disabled. So if you wanna take out your competitors, all you have to do is this. So explain to me why, if I'm a company or a brand, why would I wanna give you money, Instagram, if you're just gonna disable me because someone's gonna use your report fe feature that's a bot 
um, to get me disabled. Like, that's not good customer service. It's not professional. It's not safe, reliable, all the things that they say that they are. It's the polar opposite. So I think if we make noise about that, they're going to hate it because Instagram doesn't like bad press. They don't. And that's bad. That's like horrible press. I mean, that's money loss and people not wanting to use your app. So if enough people turn on Instagram, I mean, if there was another app in place, people wouldn't be on Instagram because I don't know a lot of people that like using Instagram at this point. And most people I know, they fucking hate it. But everyone I know is on it. So that I feel like we're using it because we have to. It's kind of like not exciting. Um, it used to be. But it's super conservative now. Ever since Facebook got it and money got involved, it became like a shithole, like everything. Um, Once money becomes involved, it's just like, I don't know. So someone that has a lot of money, like Dan Bilzerian, needs to just like make an app and just let it thrive. And like, I don't know, do advertisements, but there's no reason to like fuck people over for posting bikini pictures. Um, I bring a lot of people to Instagram. Like I get a lot of people to use Instagram through Snapchat, Twitter, just like, all my other social media channels so it is like giving me the finger and I've given them money I've given them a lot of money for um advertising my fitness book on my old account that they disabled another thing like this video is so long I'm so sorry I'm trying to like rant and get all this information out and it's like word vomit and hopefully you're still with me I'll make more videos on this but I'm just trying to get it out raw right now what happened what I'm doing about it so like I said, I first just freaked out, cried, and I just kept appealing the error message I got when I logged in. When you try to log in, it'll be like your account has been disabled, and it'll say learn more. Click on learn more, and then it'll give you this like thing. Now I'm like a public figure, so I think I get a different message than other people, because other people have like a different message than me. So if you have like a creator, an influencer account, you're gonna have a different, you're gonna have the message I had. It tells uh, tells you to like write to them why you want your, the, appeal to be looked over basically so i did that and you should do it once every hour try that that's the advice i got and i use different messages just trying to not look spammy and i also put different emails but for the majority i put the email i used to sign up but i heard and i don't know if this is true like we don't have no idea i heard if you use different emails it creates a different support ticket so like it's more people that are going to look at it so i just tried that as well uh another thing that i did was uh okay I got dirty. So what I did was, this is psychotic. I set up, you know, I have Hinge like for dating and I change. it's an, a dating app. Hinge is a dating app. So I used Hinge and I changed my location to San Francisco, even though I'm not in San Francisco, I'm in New York. Because I know that the people that work in security at Instagram that handle this are in San Francisco. They have an office in New York, but I think their security is in San Fran. So I set my profile to San Francisco. And <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I used, that to try to match with someone that works at Instagram. It hasn't worked so far and I haven't checked my hinge. I've gotten like 5 billion matches and none of them work at Instagram, of course. And they're all super hot, by the way. Like, what the If you're watching you're from San Francisco, you guys have literally the hottest guys I've ever seen. And they're all like, perfect. I gotta make a trip. My grandma lives there. But um, anyways, so I did hinge. You don't have to do this. And this like, unless you're like a cute, girl I feel like it's not gonna work um I have no idea if it's gonna work I'm just trying to get some actual answers from people at Instagram so I can tell you guys like yeah this is what this means because everyone gets the same terms and conditions and I'm guessing if you got your account deleted you didn't break any of those terms and conditions because like I didn't they still deleted Ugh. so the next thing I did was I got people I know and like all my followers to just like appeal it and bug the shit out of Instagram on Twitter if you bother them on Twitter I heard it helps too so go after Instagram, go after Adam Museri, I don't know how you pronounce it. And I was just like, why are you guys disabling me for bikini pictures and you're letting other girls post literally nudity? Look, I agree that nudity shouldn't be allowed on an app. I'm not trying to be spread eagle. I don't wanna be naked on your app. I'm sorry, I, I think it's trashy to do that. But like bikini pictures aren't nudity, no matter how you slice it, they're not. So that's kind of where I was just like, I can't help it if a girl doesn't like me. That sounds like a personal problem. And like, I don't know, go like learn a language. Like don't like look at my page if it, like I bother you that much. I just shouldn't get my whole account removed. And I guarantee you the people that are reporting me don't have the same following that I do. And they aren't getting paid to be on Instagram and they aren't acting and like using it as a tool. So 
it sucks. Um, we're gonna change it though. Like nothing can stay the same, especially if you make noise about some paying attention to it, it will get fixed. So if you got yours disabled, just keep pushing. Don't give up, no matter what, even if it's been months. I know people that got in theirs back like nine months later. I made a backup account and then people started flagging the backup account. And I was just like, I already have 30,000 followers on my backup. Oh no, I don't, I did. Um, so, sorry, I, this is another thing I wanted to say. So to grow my account, I've never bought a follower in my life on God. With my account, I use shout outs from people I know, that's what I've been doing, that have a lot of followers. Like other models I know that have like millions of followers, you shout me out and I'll pay you, I'll Venmo you. And they were doing that, so I went up 30K in like a couple of days, it works. You just have to be able to spend money. Some of the people like did it for free because I knew them, but um, yeah, so it's worth it because that's how I got my account to grow in the first place. My uh, main account, um, and like I've had it since high school. So obviously I want it back and I'm gonna get it back.